Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to good fella sports TV. All right, man, we have been here. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video, right? So, um, word in the street is uh, going around Thursday night with Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia is locked in, all right? Um, a lot of people thought they was going to make the Isak Cruz fight. I knew it was down to uh, Isak Cruz and Ryan Garcia. I, I knew if Isak Cruz to get the tank fight, they wanted to do uh, Rayo Venezuela versus Isak Cruz. Now, I don't know if that was going to be the co-feature on the undercard or it's going to be his own individual bout. But obviously, Rayo lost um, to that Dominican guy. So... Maybe they turn around and do the Dominican uh, D. Los Santos kid versus Isak Cruz and um, on the co-feature or get they up and get them put them on their own card or whatever. That'd be a nice little card. Isak Cruz is getting a lot of um, fanfare from everybody. But um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit on notification, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop drop the video. So I'm trying to beat the rush hour of traffic. I, you know, got off early. I worked at my lunch. My boss was like, why? I'm like, fuck that. I'm trying to get out of there early today. I got things I got to do. But nonetheless, um, I talked to the, uh, one of my sources and stuff, and he said he heard the same thing. So, I, I mean, obviously, we're about to get Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis. Um, you know, when you get, when you going to get an announcement? Uh I can't tell you. Right now, I told y'all Espinosa and Al Heyman going through something. Y'all see a video from me either before this or later on today. Or later on to the day y'all see the video. Then I explain more what's going on with Al and Showtime, right? So, uh, I think you probably get the same announcement right around. You probably get Crawford in, in this fight. And some, and some timetable, they both going to be announced if they both go through. So, I mean, obviously, Ryan Garcia, um, he just was in the NFL uh, I, I thought they said 100 seasons. I thought the 100 seasons was a couple years, a couple seasons ago. So I don't know. It was it the new NFL commercial? He was in there with a Ram jersey on, shadow boxing, doing all that good stuff. So, you know, Ryan Garcia, you know, got some good fanfare. So we got something that Tank can build off of. And a lot of people be like, what about Haney? And I'm going to do, do a Haney video coming up this weekend, too. You know, Haney don't bring nothing but risk. You know, being on his own kind of hurt Devin Haney brand, if we being honest. And even when you look at Shakira Stevenson, you know, you know he's the most popular uh, top-ranked fighter when it comes to regular TV ratings. But he more risk than reward for Tank Davis too. You know, I, I don't like talking like that, but that's just what it is. If y'all was okay with you know them building up Crawford and Spence and you know building up Wilder Joshua, whatever other fights they building up, you know, obviously you gotta respect this. So um, you know, Ryan Garcia got some fanfare. You know, just let you know, dude, it don't, it don't matter about the skill set. It don't matter if you can really win or not. You know, can you, you know, can you catch the casual public's attention? And um, I think we all know what's going to happen in this fight. Uh, could Ryan catch Javante Davis? Yeah, he could. Um, you know, Rody hit Tank Davis and Tank went into like, he went into like safety. I won't say safety mode, but he, his defense tightened up a lot. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Ryan Garcia is a lot more polished and a lot more, you know, decorated in the amateurs than Ryan Garcia. And that matters, you know, from a, you know, experience standpoint of view, than Roly, Rolando Roly Romero, from experience standpoint of view, with a repetition, you know, boxing is repetitious. You know, it is, is that's what it is. That's why you got to start at an early age. You know, it's very, very repetitious. You know, that's why a lot of people, you know, Floyd was saying when Manny Pacquiao came out of nowhere, um, you know, he came out of nowhere, and that's why he was accusing him of doing this, that, and third. And obviously, there's always exceptions to the rules, but in boxing, you pretty much knew, know who the top guys is. You know, we all about teenagers. You know, y'all y'all know. Even, you know, a lot of young kids, you know who the top do top dogs is coming out. But, you know, you got guys like Terrence Crawford who, you know, you know, victim of politics, uh, amateur politics, Paula Malinazzi, victim, victim of amateur politics. You got guys like them that, that squeeze through the cracks and – become world champion, become damn good professional fighters, but, I mean, obviously, you know, Ryan Garcia talked it, now, obviously, will, we make, will he make it in, will he make it to the ring is the question, 
I felt Tank should have just let him fight at 140, so you ain't got to worry about no excuses. But at the end of the day, you know, um, these dudes like to flex this quote-unquote A-side for no reason. You know, Floyd got him flexing the A-side when you don't even need to flex no A-side. You know what I'm saying? Let that man come in at 140. You come in at 140. You know what I'm saying? You know, what you need to drain him for? It's fucking Ryan Garcia. They ain't like you fighting, uh, you know, Floyd, uh, pretty boy Mayweather himself. That's what I don't understand. These dudes be flexing for no reason, dude. That's what I don't understand. These dudes literally be flexing for no reason. Dude, fight him at 140, dude. What, what's, what's the... What's the argument? Y'all not fighting for a belt at 35? We don't count that fake WBA uh, belt. So that's the only thing I really don't get about it. They fighting at 135. I just don't get, you know, just get Ryan 140. You fought Mario Barnes at 140. But obviously Regis let the bag, had out the bag. Regis was told that Barnes could make 140. And that's why they, they didn't end up fighting. And then he come back and make 140 for Tank Davis. So Tank fought to drain Regis' progress. So, I mean, there you have it. There you have it. So, I mean, I mean, when you look at it, it is what it is, right? But, uh, but you know, at the end of the day, it seemed like boxing going to close off with a big year. Obviously, you wish some of these fights could be on regular TV because a lot, all these fights really ain't pay-per-view caliber. And then the ones they build up kind of get stale. But this fight, you know, you can make an argument that it's happening premature. You can make an argument that it's happening right on time. I don't really care. I'd rather be premature than too late. You know, Ryan Garcia ain't trying to fight. You know, he's trying to cash in or cash out for the biggest money possible. That's what it is. It's not about belts. Because he know he can't take a belt from Devin Haney. He knew he couldn't take a belt from the 30-pound champions when he was a prospect down there. He turned down multiple title eliminators at 140 pounds. So he knew he ain't about that taking no belt life. He know it. He ain't about that life. That's just what it is, what it is. He want to cash in or cash out for the biggest, you know, price possible. And that's Tank Davis. And he's going to go get put to sleep. Now, he looked a lot better versus uh, uh, Javier Fortuna. But Javier Fortuna, like, he didn't get, he didn't have no time to get in shape. He looked terrible. And Ryan Garcia let the cat out the bag, talking about he wanted to change the weight again and all this type of stuff. So, he fought a drain Fortuna. That dude that fought Tagahoe, man, woo. You know, they came out behind a jab versus Fortuna. Fortuna looked terrible. I don't even think that shit's a count. He looked flat. He looked terrible. He looked, you know, doughy in the stomach. He looked terrible. You know, it's too bad they want to throw everything on pay-per-view, dude. It's just, you know, the greed. I wouldn't even say greed. I'm going to explain that coming up later. I'm going to explain that coming up later. Because it seemed like networks, you know, is uh, it's, it's, it's pulling financially pulling out of boxing. I can't blame them. But, um, you know, we'll see what, you know, financially, you know, what this fight, what this fight uh, do. Um, but it's a big fight. I'm interested. I'm not paying for it because I, I don't, I mean, I'm, I don't, I, I might pay for it. But I, I might pay for it on behalf of. Javante Day. I might, I might pay for it, but I don't really anticipate me paying for it, honestly. I'm paying for Crawford and Spence. But the only reason I'll pay for this is because they dug to the champions. Sorry to say that. That's the only reason why, but I mean, it's still a good event, though. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, but Ryan Garcia gonna get knocked the fuck out, and we all know it. He gonna get knocked out. You know? He, and it's a bad matchup too, cause Tank thrive versus fighting taller guys too, man. You know, Tank, Tank is just Tank just gonna faint and come over the top and catch that chin flying up. That chin don't stay tucked. Ryan in trouble. That chin gotta stay tucked, you know, and he gotta stay behind the, a pepper and jab, you know. But it's gonna be interesting, cause Tank show when he get hit, he he kind of he kind of zone he kind of tighten up and zone in too. You know, Floyd was like that. Floyd get cracked. Floyd to kind of go into the zone where he tighten up. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not that they scary or no shit like that. It's just to the point that, um, you know, they 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 guard they they guard become a lot tighter. They reflexes become a lot more. Away. Like I woke your ass up. That's kind of what I look at it as. 
But, um, but geez, I need a haircut. I'm out here looking at my phone. But, uh, but yeah, man, they say, you know, it's done. So, you know, we should be hearing something. So as soon as, you know, Al Hammond and the network with Showtime work out their differences. You know, if you see Tank go to PBC, Fox, I'm mean, go to Fox, you know something really, really wrong. You know something really, really wrong, but, you know. But all these pay-per-views ain't helping the network out. That's what I will say. You know, they need shit on, on regular TV to, to bring subscribers in. If not, or you pull that and just get another show. What's so funny? They pulled boxing off HBO, and they created more shows. And they had what Lovecraft Country. I never seen it, but they had Lovecraft Country, and um, and and you know this this show, this black show, win all these awards, and they canceled. <laughs> so when HBO pulled out of boxing, I I just I pulled out of HBO. I didn't order it no more. But I do have HBO Max, so I guess you know that that would account for something. So, um, but you know, like I said before, it is what it is. Um, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit the uh, bell icon button, increase your chance to get all the notifications. We go live and drop the video. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Amazon Music, Google Podcast, Spotify, the whole nine. All in the link tree, first link in the description. Peace.